Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my brothers and sisters living in Nigeria and abroad. You are welcome to our Facebook live program today saturday the ninth day of january 20 2020 today we are going to discuss copiously Nigeria democracy, the first set origo of democracy in Nigeria, the the totalitarian and despotic arrest and detention of Omoyele Shewure and others and uh, the danger it portends for our democracy and the need for the activists to be released, to be set free with immediate effect and alacrity. Also, we discuss the insecurity situation in Edo State in in microcosm and uh, the insecurity in Nigeria in macrocosm. As it is presently in Edo State, you cannot sleep with two of your eyes closed. Just very recently here, we had how the most uh, secured said uh, in Edo State, Stacey IDC uh, was broken and uh, suspects in lawful custody escaped without uh, any moral justification. It is just as if Nigeria is a banana republic. It is just as if Nigeria is in a state of anarchy. It is just as if Nigeria is leaderless and ruderless. Where impunity reigns supreme. It was Martin Luther King that said, Our life begins to end the day we become silent about things that matters. Edo State is, belongs to all of us. Nigeria belongs to all of us. It will be sardonic and lugumbrous if we, the masses, the plebeians, the oil polloid, the rat tags, and the bobtails are mute in the midst of the generation of our values, our moral values in Edo State and Nigeria. We are not here to engage in monologue today. It is dialogue. You can make your contributions via the, the number attached to the write up plus two three four eight one five nine four one two zero two five. You can also contribute. We have WhatsApp message, WhatsApp calls. It is
they are all appreciated. This is the psychological moment for us to talk. If you talk, you die. If you don't talk, you die. It was uh, Julius uh, Caesar that told his wife when his wife had a terrible nightmare, a terrible nightmare. For Caesar to beware the eyes of March. Even a soothsayer told Caesar to beware the eyes of March. His wife told him, told, told him how he had, how she had a nightmare that is, you know, is that his old friend, Brutus, betrayed him. Julius Caesar said, and I quote, cowards die many times before their deaths. The villain never tastes of death only but once. Of all I have yet heard, it appears to me most strange that men should fear, seeing that death, the necessary end, will come when it will come. Death, the necessary end, will come when it will come. And that is why we, as Nigerians, we must yearn, we must talk. Look at what happened recently in the United States of America when protesters invaded the chambers, the Senate chambers. We kick against that barbaric art, that anti-Diluvian and uh, anachronistic art of Americans orchestrated by the President of the United States of America that in fact, I refused Abinishu to concede and congratulate the president elect in line with the mentality of Africa. I think uh, on this, uh, America needs to learn from Nigerian democracy. But that is an obita dictum, a statement by the wayside. You know, Nigerian democracy, democracy according to Abraham Lincoln, is the government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Democracy entails that all citizens have the right, the fundamental human rights, to express their view, to vet their spleen against policies that are antithetical to reality as far as the masses are concerned. Democracy gives you the right to associate peacefully, freedom of association and peaceful assembly are guaranteed. By the law, not only our domestic laws, but international laws. There are some treaties that were signed, human rights treaties that were signed by Nigeria internationally. But we don't see any reason why. When we speak truth to power, it will amount to treasonable felony in Nigeria, in Edo State. It is only in Edo State in Nigeria you speak truth to power. More than 45 policemen will invade your residence and pick you as if you were a militant, as if you were a terrorist, as if you were a member of the, the, the dreaded Boko Haram uh, uh, terrorist uh, group. Terrorists are not even uh, 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 treated the way human, the way activists are treated in Nigeria. The the, 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 the terrorists, the Boko Haram members, are pampered. Where are those that that have the confidence, the, the confidence, without pusillanimity? To speak truth to power, are ostracized, are sequestered to the dojon. How long shall we continue to be living in
this fascist, totalitarian, and despotic system that the grace may have banned. God forbid. God, Almighty Allah, detests injustice and oppression like poison. I don't see any reasons why our democratically elected government will unleash human rights violations on the people who unleash or who arrest people indiscriminately for speaking truth to power. According to St. Augustine in his book, in, in, in his book, The City of God, that the government without justice is a great robbery. Is this government operates within the sacred precinct of justice, equity, and the rule of law? The answer is emphatic no. That is why I, I align myself with the intellectual adumbration of St. Augustine that the government without justice is a great robbery. This is not the country the founding fathers of Nigeria fought for. In lack of uh, Abbott Macaulay, the father of Nigerian nationalism, The lack of Dr. Nadi Azikiwe, Chief of Bafemi Awolowo, Mogugo Okoye, Kola Wole Balogu, Samadu Belo, Malam Aminu Kanu, and host of other nationalists who fought for Nigeria freedom, who fought for Nigeria independence. That independence was granted reluctantly October 1st, 1960. And Nigeria became a Republican state October 1st, 1963. That was when the last trace of colonialism was eliminated from Nigeria from from Nigeria system, even though Nigeria uh, peregrinated into the state of neo-colonialism and imperialism. That is where we are today. As you are fully aware that December 31st, 2020, stroke January 1st, 2021. Right activists in Abuja assembled peacefully to, to draw the attention of Nigerian government not to subscribe to the economic and the philosophical meme of 2021. A situation where Nigerians commit suicide because of their precarious economic situation of the country that have pulled them into a miserable situation. They protested that Nigeria government should work proactively not to import the state of insecurity into 2021 that we assume to be the year of restoration breakthrough with science. I wonder. They protect. 
Jesus said that the state of unemployment should not be imported into 2021. That it is very, very, very important for the plebeians, for the Aminu Kanu Talakawas to be employed to nip poverty in the board. They, they, they also protested on the need for President Muhammad for, uh, on the need for General Muhammad Bouhari retire to carry everybody along. In terms of his administration, this lopsided appointment is giving us sleepless nights at South Saturnus. All, virtually all the security chiefs are from the northern region of the country. All the security chiefs are from the northern region of the country. Majority of the appointment at the federal level are for, in fact, for the northerners. I don't really know the kind of country we are. If this kind of things continue to happen, you begin to see agitations from different regions. This kind of situation led to the Nigeria Civil War in 1967 to 1970. When Dim Chuku and Mekpa and Chuku and Mekka or Dumegu or Juku led the Biafra army you know we experienced the first military coup January 15 1966 the Northerners saw a tribal calculation in the first military coup of January 15, 1966. Even though in that coup, prominent politicians were killed. Some of who are from the north, the then Sultan of Sokoto, Saamadu Bello, who was also the premier of the northern region of the country. The then prime minister, the only, the first and the last prime minister of Nigeria, Alaji Satafawa Balewa, the premier of the old western region of the country, Chief S.L. Akintola, the then Federal Commissioner of Finance, Chief Festus Okotiebo, and other top ranking military officers were killed in that coup that was planned by young military officers, Major Chukuma Kaduna Eziogu who was then a lecturer at the Nigeria Defense Academy. We also have Major Emmanuel Ifejuna, an host of young military officers who were not happy with our politicians. We are leading Nigeria to the state of Armageddon. But today Nigeria is worse than the way it was it were yesterday. Today we have pocket of agitations from different regions. The Easterners are agitating.
for the declaration of Biafra Republic. This was what Jim Chuku Emeka Odumebu 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 did when he saw the porous system. Then, after the first military coup, the most senior police officer, sorry, the most senior military officer, was Brigadier Ogudupe. But the most senior military officers of Nota Extraction, Lieutenant Conan Yakubu Gowan, instead of them to follow hierarchy, they jettison Brigadier Ogudupe and Lieutenant Conan Theophilus. Don't you let that not let that not come in? Not your fellows, don't you, man? We have planned that coup. They not give the crown to let not come in. Yakubu go on. Oh, do a chukwa make a do make bullet. Let not come in. Chukwa make a do make bullet. Said no. That Brigadier Agudukbe was the most senior military officer. Agitations from different regions, specifically the, not the eastern region, northern region, led to the civil war that was fought from 1967 to 1917. We will have the opinion that Nigeria will not go back to its vomit to avoid the outbreak of another civil war. But what we see today in Nigeria, is a cowed with what led to the civil war. Today, members of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, are detecting seriously there are a series of agitations from different regions for the declaration of Oduduwa Republic. The mid the mid the, the, the people from the mid, mid, mid uh, middle bed are also agitating because the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, General Muhammad Buhari, retired, neglects other region. But this is not the country nationalists fought for. Nigeria, with the natural resources, at its disposal, Nigerians are not supposed to be suffering. Nigerians are not supposed to travel to to other country in search of greener pastors. Excuse me. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, agitations from different regions. Omoye Leshoore and others who are still in detention should be released with immediate effect.
and a lacrity free omoyo ile showore free sa sa yo oluju won and others they are not terrorists they are not militants they are not bandits they are freedom fighters If a sane society cannot provide for the many that are poor, that society cannot protect the few that are rich. Protest is not a sin against God and a crime against humanity. The right to protest is not only guaranteed by domestic Law, it is guaranteed by international law. Protest is to show resentment in no certain terms. Protest is to fight your spleen. Protest is to draw the attention of government to where there is the lacuna. The New Year gift that was given, that was bequeathed to Nigerians by President by General Muhammad Buhari is the arrest of Omoyele Shewure and others. How long shall we continue to be living in, 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 in fear as if we are in the regime of fear that the grace may abound? God forbid. It is shown already today. It can be anybody tomorrow. That is why we must all rise in defense of human rights. We must all rise in defense of of our democracy, we must all rise in condemnation of the barbaric, of the fascist, of the animalistic, the monstrous, the satanic, the fiendish, the odoriferous. Arrest of one of the finest activists in Nigeria. It is sad that we are where we are today. Free Shore, O King Buari, O King General Muhammad Buari, retire. Let Shore and others go. Let them go. Let them go, let them go, let them go. Free them. They need freedom. Freedom, freedom for Shore, freedom for Juan, freedom for others who are still in incarceration. Freedom. Is all we need. The police that arrested Omoyele Shore and others should take cognizance of the fact that the system is porous, that they have wives and children that are still suffering, that are still victim of the repressive, of the porous and emotional system. Of Nigeria that impoverished man. You are a graduate in this country. You are a graduate with first class. No job for you. You will still be roaming the streets in search of job.
You are a policeman today that the fascists use to arrest innocent people. Your lives are not insured by the nation you are serving with integrity. I know of a policeman friend that was shot by an, by an armed robber. The system, the police system neglected him. His friends, good friends, raised money to treat him. Is this the country nationalists fought for? We are all victims of the repressive system. Whether you are a policeman, whether you are a soldier man, whether you are a politician, definitely one, you are not going to stay, you are not going to stay in the job for ad night top forever. You are going to retire one day and become a bloody civilian like me. And become a bloody civilian like Omoyele Shewore. And become a bloody civilian like Sanwo Olu Juwon and others. That is why we are using this video to call on the police to be more civil, to apply wisdom. In oppressing and intimidating you might have advocates just to satisfy the man, the big man, the ogre at the top. It is better for you to satisfy the plebeian and the masses on the street than to satisfy your ogre at the top. Because you are not going to you are not going you are not going to be in office forever. The Bible says, be not deceived, for God is not mock, for whatsoever a man sweats, that shall he also reap. The law of karma is real. The golden rule is that do not do unto others what you don't want them to do to you. You are putting up police uniform today. You are free to carry a K-47 today. You have to consider opinion. That you are going to be like that forever. The system, the negative system today, we in turn. Okay, let's read this turn. The first caller, the bros. I greet you, bros. We did find out your side, bros. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And bros, we'll go talk that one later. But I did on I did on live uh, program now. This is another one you want to contribute. After the program. Oh, uh, after the program now. Okay. After the program. But they talk on uh, the arrest of Show Ray, insecurity in Nigeria and other things. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. okay. I'll tell you that. No problem. We'll talk later. Okay, thank you. Yes, it was a caller. Yes. Yes. Make your, you can call to make your contributions. Yes. Like I was saying, police do your job well. Do your job with the fear of God. Do your job by the application of morality. Today, the man you oppress as a police officer can be the president tomorrow when you have retired from the job. I will serve meritoriously. Do not be a thorn in the flesh of your brothers because of the, the oppressive uniform you are putting on. Do not be a thorn in the flesh of your brother because 
you have the, the license to carry AK-47. Do not be the turn, do not be a turn in the flesh of your brother because you are a superior police officer. On the last day, we shall all give account to Almighty God and Almighty Allah. Opportunity for you to be very close to the people. You become an enemy of your people because of the uniform you are putting on. Life is transient, is transitory and ephemeral. Do good in line with the Socratic addiction. The good should be done and the evil avoided. When you have problem today as a security personnel, the bloody civilians will be on your side. The bloody civilians you fight today will be on your side. I want to join millions of Nigerians home and diaspora to call on the Inspector General of Police, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, General Muhammad Bouhari, retire to set free Shewure, free Shewure, free Sawo Olujuwon, and others, for they are not terrorists. They are not members of Boko Haram. They are not bandits disturbing the peace of the country. They are human rights activists venting their spleen on how Nigeria will be elevated to the pedestal nationally and internationally. On how Nigeria will say Kabudo Regetamenta to Omo Mini Lupus. They are protesting for the well being of Nigerians. They are protesting for the well being of the police. They are protesting for there to be security for our people so that our people can sleep very well with two of their eyes closed. Okay, somebody asked a question. Free show re, begin to ask that free show re, free show re, and others. Free show re, free don't come mad by struggle. Free don't come by struggle, by struggle. Free don't come show re, in the struggle. Free don't come by struggle, by struggle. Freedom come. Yes. So, what is the update of those police officers that was arrested after the cell break of CID, the Edo State Police Command Headquarters? Uh, my brother, I think uh, as at the last time I checked, the police officers are still in the cell. Definitely, uh, the police will do their the administrative trial. It be the what they call the, the rule trial before they will take the next step. Yes, I think they, they are still there. The Inspector General of Police order for the investigation of the police officers. Yes, Becky Godwin, yes, free show right now. Yes, freedom is now or never. Oh. Oh. Yes, yes, George Edmond. Oh, George Edmond. I greet you. After this program, I will, I will, I will call you. Whoa, oh, George Edmond. The guy that was oppressed. A, a diaspora that visited Nigeria that was oppressed in his own country by the police that are supposed to protect him. He was brutalized and he was extorted. But immediately we enter the matter. Justice.
was achieved. We achieved justice for the man, for our brother Judge Edmund. Today he can anytime he can travel to Nigeria, to Edo State, unlike the mentality he had before we if I we did the needful. Thank you very much. Yes. What the mafidon I cite you. Yes. Yes, let's talk about the insecurity situation in our state. We have we have treated the uh, Nigerian democracy, the arrest and detention of uh, Shiwuri and others, and the need for the the activists to be released. Today, insecurity in our in our state. Insecurity because since constitution guarantee the provision of security by those in in government by those in government but today the policemen that are supposed to secure us they secure big, big boys. They secure the big men. Why the masses, the oil polloi, depend on God for security? Section 40 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria has amended says that the security and the wealth of the people shall be a primary purpose of government. There is no state that can achieve economic prosperity in the absence of security. Today, Potential investors are scared of coming to invest in those states because of the negative news of insecurity that emanates from it on a daily basis. You hear of our armed robbers? Invaded a place on a broad daylight. To rob successfully for minutes. Broad daylight, not even at night. Nigeria is not secure. The system is so porous. If at all state government, despite the fact that governors collect security votes from the system, they will tell you that security it is they will tell you that it's, it is only the federal government that have the sole prerogative to legislate on security matters because security is on the exclusive legislative list. But I begin to ask, what about the, the security votes that amount to, to billions governor collected yearly? It is so sad today that the police stations that have been burnt, the, sorry, the police stations that were burnt, during the NSAS protests in those states, have not been rebuilt. We want to use this medium to call on the governor of those states, His Excellency Governor Gordon Obaseki, to build the police stations that were set ablaze when the NSAS protest was hijacked.
Obama market police station. He see a shadow of its former self. Ugbekun police station. Saint Savior police station. He dogbo police station police post. Should be built. By the state government. As big as Upper Sakmoba area. As big as Upper Sakmoba. There is no police station. I'm fully aware. Of the efforts. The positive effort of the local government chairman, Dr. Eric Osayande, to empower local vigilante. I am fully aware of the tremendous, the, 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 the positive results achieved. By the local vigilante. But it is very, very important for the police station to be rebuilt. The governor of Edo State should rebuild up uh, uh, Igbekun police station, St. Savior police station, Idogbo police outpost, and buy patrol vans. To the police. The police are not magicians. The police cannot fly to where crime is committed. They need patrol vans, patrol vehicles. Not the 16th century push and start uh, 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 police vans that we have today. Next, 16th century police van, you push and start with black smoke. Two, 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 two. You'll be pushing a police vehicle. Hmm? You want to fight crime. If the vehicle cannot even move. Police van cannot even move. We cannot wait for federal government to bring police van for us. Because governor, yeah, with a collect security vote. As big as state CID today, there is no tracker. Once you go tracker there, if they want to track numbers, they want to send the number to Abuja for analysis. There is no CCTV. There is no CCTV camera. There are supposed to be CCTV cameras at strategic junctions. No, no CCTV camera. Police fight insecurity when they don't have patrol vehicle. In fact, before when you visit uh, Ubeku Police Station, <laughs> before it was burnt, <laughs> Ubeku Police Station it be like one room. <coughs> it be like one. It's just like one room. No fence. No space. No window. Yes. We still have, just by the fact that we have some bad eggs, we still have a lot of policemen in Edo State that are ready to work. They are ready to discharge their constitutional responsibility. All they need is just It's encouragement. You encourage them. Our Nigeria police are the best in the world, though. That's why the fact that uh, some uh, uh, some elements are just there to make money to extort the people to brutalize the people. We still have some fine policemen. I can. 
mention more than 100 policemen in Edo State that are ready to do their job. Fine police officers. All that is needed is encouragement. Encourage them. They will do their best. Like I said, like I said before, police are not magicians. They are human beings like us. They are human beings like us. They need equipment to work. It's only in Nigeria here. Yeah. Police buy their boots. Police buy their beret. Police buy their uniform. Police buy case fire. Police buy a uh, barrel. Uh, police buy a uh, statement sheet. Everything, everything, yeah. Our police are done. You buy everything. So it is sad. Let us uh, contribute our quotas to, to ensure that police do their job. They need to be encouraged. Yes, uh, we just our number is still there. Plus two three four eight one five nine four one two zero two five. The number again is plus two three four eight one. Five nine four one two zero two five plus two three four eight one five nine four one two zero two five. Okay, the call here. Okay, just give me a few a minute. Okay, good morning. Yes, you're on, on live today live program, Facebook live program. We are talking of uh, the arrest and detention of Shure and the insecurity situation in Edo State. You tell us your name and you make your contributions. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my name is Sam uh, Komi Dobiri Amosemi Kotlo. Okay. And privately, uh, member of the judiciary. Okay. Uh, well, uh, we have actually condemned the way and manner the government is handling the case of uh, Sowery. And then uh, we believe it's not in tandem with the fundamental human rights. Okay. You know, uh, in Nigeria, as it is today, it is, a, it is forcing out the level at which uh, the oppression or dehumanization and taking over the end of our society. And then uh, for you want to be courageous enough to stand in tandem with your friends and average of person in Nigeria as a should be commended. Uh, I think that government should try as much as possible to accommodate such persons because these are people that we always need in modern Nigeria. So I will just address with other men in Nigeria to uh, advice and then uh, also admonish the government to, to, at the matter of urgency, grant all that they should be to me and then to ensure that uh, uh, subsequent acts should not be defensive. Because if you do, we, we, can, we can be very comfortable with you and we can ask you. Thank you very much. What about the state of insecurity? Less than a minute. It's alarming. Yes. It's alarming. Nationwide. Now, you can see, if we look at it, just get it particular, you see the way good works are taking over every aspect of it. It's not where I can say to pay you to. I'm just using it as a piece of it. And I believe that even in the North East, even in the North Central, even in the South South, as it's where it's to, even in the South East,
Thank you very much for your contribution, my very erudite uh, brother. I uh, have taken cognizance of your contribution and it will be transmitted to the appropriate quarter in due course. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, sir. Yes, our brother, our brother just uh, lent his voice to the call to the authority for Omoyele Showare to be freed and others who are still in captivity. Uh, and on the state of insecurity in uh, those state and the country at large, he, he suggested the need for community policing, that it is only when the youth members of uh, the community are recruited into, the, into policing. That is when we we'll achieve positive results in terms of the fight against insecurity in uh, our state. It is a very vital contribution, community policing, community policing, that is what we have been saying, community policing, yes, community policing, yes, yes, those that want to call again, to call on the program, we have about five minutes before we round off uh, this uh, interview or this program for the day. The number to call is uh, still 081 You can also send your, your WhatsApp message to make your contribution. Okay. Okay. We have some WhatsApp message messages here. Okay, uh, our president is a detector and he is supposed to be a servant. I join others who say free showre, Mr. Michael from Italy. Okay, it's another caller. Hello, caller, good morning. Hello, good Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, my brother. My name is Kinsley. I'm calling from Spain. Okay, Mr. Kinsley from Spain. Yes, I called you other day. Yes, yes, yes. Please, yeah, I, I want the caller. public to know. Yes. I, I was watching your program. Yes. I want the public to know that what Nigeria is trying to bring upon itself by these wicked leaders. Yes. Then SARS is just a play. Okay. Holding a show where by speaking the truth. Yes. Is it, is just, they are just trying to destroy themselves. Yes. We have a leader that does not, that not have sense. It doesn't think about the future. Look at India. India has become the world celebrity today. Our own, we have been fooling ourselves because we have only one person that is speaking the truth. Mm. We want to kill him. That is how we kiss our we were. But today, I will not regret what I've done to the Gorgoni people. I do not regret in it. Yes. I want Nigeria people to know. That very soon we storm the embassy in Spain. We will disgrace them the way they want. Okay. That kind of disgrace they want, we will disgrace them. Yes. If, it's more, if, if they do not leave a show wherever it is, they will see it. Thank you. Thank the disgrace you. they want, we will disgrace them. Yes. Yes. Thank, thank that you. is what I want them to understand. Yes.
It is sad though. My brother, thank you. I've not seen Osho Were in my life. I don't know Osho Were in my life, but I love people that is fighting for the truth, that is speaking the truth and yes. fight for the truth. Yes. In, 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 in this place in Spain, the king of Spain, the king, not even that person, the king mm. that gave his son, because he did not declare in the money they dash him a millionaire mm. is in exile. Okay. The king, talk of your president. Okay. Don't you see what happened to Donald Trump? Yes. The person he, he picked as a as, as a judge resigned. stood for the truth. Yes, I resigned. Yes. So yeah. why are we so dumb in as a people? We are so scared because if when you speak the truth, they they bring one legation or the other against you. Mm. I know why Malami is doing this one because of the corruption case show arrest was nothing. Yes. They are yes. fighting a show right now because of this activity because the guy is fighting the the cor the, the, the thieves in Nigeria. Mm. The Kaba. Mm. Mm. Until we come out and speak the truth, we will be all quiet and die one by one. Mm. We all we don't know show where is this show where is this. One person must take the lead and we will support him. Yes. I have not met Oshawa in my life. I don't know him, but I'm yes. telling you today that I am strongly behind him. Thank you very much. And let them know I'm a believer. If anything happened to Oshawa, many policemen and many government officials will pay for it. NSAS is just a, it's just, it's just a play. Thank we in diaspora can do something that, that will be beyond their imagination. Yes, 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 yes. We can, we, can, we can mobilize things that is beyond their imagination. Yes. Not only in Lagos or in Abuja, all the states. Yes. If we decided to do things, it would be. Uh, don't be. They should not worry. They should release him now as we are speaking. Let them hear. They should release him now. Thank you very And much. anybody that has my children's picture should post it. Let's see it. Okay. Anybody that has his family identity should post it. Let's have our reports do us where and post my children, IG children. Yes. And tell us where they are so that we can, we can, we can, name, we can shame them and fool them in the streets. Yes. Please, we are begging for that. That is all I just have to contribute. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, my regular uh, caller, Mr. Kisley from, from Spain. May God, may God continue to bless you. You have spoken the truth. You said uh, it today, Adrian is a Adrian is, yes, is celebrated. It's a celebrity. The, the, the largest electricity uh, yes. in the world now. Idia, Idia, Idia used to be a third world the country. Yes. Idia used to be a third world country like Nigeria, like Singapore, like, like, in, like Indonesia, like Malaysia. But today, these countries, Singapore, Malaysia, Idia, in fact, and others have elevated. They have graduated from that, from, that, from that state of being a third world. To first world country yes. where Nigeria is moving is backward. Nigeria is president. moving backward. The only thing Nigeria, the only thing Nigeria we can celebrate Nigeria for today is human rights violation and corruption. Finish. It is where my brother, it is where. Like you said before, mobilize mobilize the people in Spain to Nigeria embassy. Yes. To call on Nigeria government on, to free show because they don't release it on Tuesday. Yes, let them, they, let them be waiting. That is the next step we are going to take. Thank you very I don't much. Know yes. I'm not meeting, but that is the only thing I can do. Thank you very much. We must come together and turn the embassy on yes. Tuesday. Yes, it is it's not a criminal, they should go after terrorists. Yes. Thank you very much. They should go after terrorists. You are papering terrorists and, uh -huh. and sending uh, right. human rights activists to prison. Right. 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 No. So. And the US and Britain should wake up and do something very fast. Yes. Let them give them a good session. Yes. They kill a lot of people in Lekki Stogate with nothing. Stick, they are still keeping quiet. Uh -huh. Nothing. Itana, nothing. It's, this is all is a shame on the US, this kind of thing that is happening in Nigeria. See? Even in Britain. Okay. Boris Johnson should hear this. Yes. I know he must have he must have a, 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 a intelligence that yes. is watching the media. He should yes. hear it's a shame on the on US and uh, British Parliament. Okay. Shame on them. Okay. They're supposed to wake up and, and call this photo order. Mm. See? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Thank you, yeah. Yes. We are using this video to call on the United Nations Organization, the British government to intervene in this matter. It is sure today can be anybody tomorrow. Nigeria is operating a, a democratic system of government where uh, there is respect for the rule of law. There is respect for the rule of law.
we are not in banana republic the citizens cannot be cowed into total submission or subjugation no 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 without citizens government cannot exist without the people there is no government that can rule animals or do they want to rule do, do, do they want to govern animals no do they want to govern animals Nigeria will not be a country where the president uh, governs animals. Yeah. Even though they, 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 they tell us, they said uh, our president like cow well, well. I don't know how true, how true is that, uh, that our president is a lover of cow. <laughs> Oh, Nigeria, so I don't know, keep me relaxed. The president like cow, where, where? Uh, president like cow. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Sir, so president like cow, where, where? Okay. Okay. Okay, yes. Thank you very much. Uh the last uh, caller. I think we are going to round off the the session for today. Just do well to assist us in sharing this video. Yes, so that it will get to the table of the president or the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the governor of Edo State, and other uh, stakeholders. We cannot, we cannot continue like this. We cannot continue like this. Okay, I must, yes, appreciate, uh, yes, my brother, DOE Grant, for your contribution. That is my leader there, the barrister Siri Odibo. I greet you in the name of the struggle. Like my sister Becky Godwin, 24 hours, you are always with us. Thank you. And may Almighty God continue to bless you. Uh, you shall be like trees planted by the riverside. Every spirit of uh, Boaristic fascism I reject in Jesus' name. Yes. Ivan Eno, the police are also the criminals we have in Edo State. I don't know how we can prove that. Yes. Evisobaze, the great scholar adopted by himself, who had told Mr. Evis. Thank you very, very much. May God, may God bless you. Yes, we also have a... Uh... Yes, my brother, George Edmond. I don't hear you just now. I'm going to boss you. Yes, my brother, Mr. Meshak Anthony. I cite you. I cite you. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes, the present government of Edo State is the problem in Edo State. They are thieves. They don't care about the people of the state. Okay. Yes, Mr. Mafidon, Imade, you give Stephen my real man. He said, My leader is depositing. Who got her? I love you, all. Big Becky again. Free show. Oh, 
Ore and others in detention, Mr. Austin Okogenu. Good morning, sir. I greet you. Yes, Becky Gay Smart Caller. You are the best, sir. We love you for your truth. Thank you very much. Mr. Mar uh, Comrade uh, Israel Amadi Imina Jr. Which name are they call you that? Uh, Dion Pa. Eh, eh. Dion Pa Israel. I sat you. Thank you. I say I still wish all my people Happy New Year. Yes, may all God Almighty will protect you. They are bombarding us they are disturbing our happiness with the outbreak of the second wave of covid 19. covid 19 shall not be our portion in jesus name god almighty will give us good health covid 19 is for the corrupt leaders corrupt people those oppressors the COVID-19 visit the oppressors. The COVID-19 visit the enemies of progress. The COVID-19 visit the enemies of the people. The COVID-19 visit our corrupt rulers. The COVID-19 visit all the barbad, all the barbad uh, rulers we get for Nigeria. Thank you. And may God bless you. Share this broadcast. Share, share, and make it viral. Share. Thank you. See you again next week.